Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's discuss some important co- command lines in Kali Linux for network management and troubleshooting. So, the uh, first command is ifconfig. ifconfig stands for the interface configurator. When we uh, enter ifconfig, then it, it shows the IP address, MAC address and MTUs. Here we can see the IPv4 address and we can see here IPv6 address also. And after that, we can see netmask and MTUs. In IF config, we want to see only Ethernet 0. Then, by using this command, we can see. After that, if we want to see only loopback, then we can see by entering this command. So, particularly, if we want to see those items, we can see by this using this command. Coming to next command, IP. IP ADDR. This is just an alternative for IF config. Same information will be shown here. So here we can see that same same loopback, same IP is came here, and after that IP for address. If you want to see particularly Ethernet zero, then so from here we can see the Ethernet zero. If you want to see loopback, then we can enter this command. We can see here loopback. After this, we can go for the trace root command and the trace root and give a domain. So, trace root is most useful commands in networking. It is mainly used for troubleshoot the network. It detects the delays and determines the pathways to the target. Here. We can see the all hopes around the network reaching the google.com from our network to google. These are all the hopes. So to avoid the DNS lookup, add n. Let's say raise root hyphen n. This avoid the reverse DNS. But suppose mainly trace root uses the UDP packets. If you want to use, if you want to send the ICMP packets, then we can use this command. Hyphen I. So this came from the ICMP packets. But suppose if you want to send the TCP packets, then by entering T, we can see that. Trace root will send in the TCP packets. So from this, basically trace root, uh, basically default UDP will UDP packets will send by the trace root. But if we enter hyphen i, then it will send the ICP packets. If we enter the hyphen t, it will send the TCP packets. Coming to next command, trace path. Trace path is just an alternative for the trace route. Again, we can give the destination. Let's say trace path google.com. Okay, install. Let's discuss the another another command trace path. This is just a alternative for the trace route. So we can enter the domain here it will show all the paths reaching the source to destination Coming to the next command, ping. Ping is the most used network troubleshooting commands. It basically check the network connectivity between the two nodes. Let's say ping google.com. It sends the ICMP echo request to check the network connectivity. It keeps executing until it is interrupted. Let's say I will enter a control C. Then 
ICMP will ICMP packet sending is stopped. <coughs> so this is ping command. Coming to next one, netstat. Netstat command refers to the network statistics. It provides statistical figures about different interfaces which include open ports, open sockets, routing tables and connection information. So from this table we can see that which are the connections are established. So display to display all programs from the net stack we can use hyphen p. So it displays the all programs associated with the open sockets. For suppose if we use netstat s then it gives the statistics of all the ports here we can see the ip we can see all the statistics of the ports like ip icmp icmp message tcp udp tcp exit ip exit so coming to the next one netstat r it gives the information about the routing table So we can see the routing table here, information related to the routing table. So let's see another command, dig. This command is used in DNS lookup to query the DNS name server. It is also used to troubleshoot DNS related issues. So here we can see the information related to the DNS queries. So here we can see that default gateway dns server a records also we can see a records nothing but ipv4 ipv4 address also we can check here another another command same as like dig we can see that ns lookup it's just an alternative for the dig by entering it we can see the same related DNS queries. So here we can see the same information as we can see in here. So coming to next one is host. Or suppose host google.com. Host is nothing but it given IP address and IP address for a given host name. Like uh, it used to fetch DNS lookup for DNS related queries. So it gives the IPv4 address and IPv6 address and SMTP related to the google.com. So this is host. So coming to next one ARP. ARP is nothing but the address resolution protocol. It used to view and add content to the kernel ARP table. So this is my ARP table. By default, ARP displays the host name. You can get IP address by using ARP hyphen N. You can also delete the ARP table by using ARP D also. ARP D domain. If you want to delete something, you can add domain here. Coming to next one, host name. Host name. It's not a networking command, hostname related to our local. What is your local name? It's called name here. This is hostname. So after that, we have a, another networking command MTR. So MTR. MTR is a com command combination of ping and trace root. It continues to display information regarding the packets sent with the ping time of each hope. It is also used for the network issues. So here we can observe that how many packets were lost, average and worst. This is the combination of trace root and ping. So this is MTR command. After that, we have another command. Who is? Who is? Who is? 
to fetch the all information related to a website let's say who is google.com you can get all information about a website including the registration and the information so here we can see the all the domain name domain registry ids domain who is server so those information shown in the who using the who is command so that's all guys thank you for watching